Ah, oh, thanks for waiting, guys. Oh. Couldn't see anything for a second there, I was starting to worry. Right, so, okay. Um, here we are back in Agrarian Skies. Thank you very much, Chelsea. Uh, got a few things I want to do this week. Uh, first of all, I don't think I've updated this in a little while. But I think actually I've run out of space, so I might have to take this bookshelf down and put another set of shelves in here. Which, I'll pro actually that's something I'll pro probably do this episode, I think. Uh, let's have a quick look at... Uh, um, have a quick look at what's changed. Yeah, um, still need to do this blood altar. Need to move it, make it, need to make it bigger. Uh, the luggage is still eating on a healthy diet of bones. You seem to be using a lot of gunpowder at the moment. Oh yes, that's something I've done. I've put a roof on the on this building here which I quite like. This is using the dark wood I got from the nether and added a sludge boiler here to to this this doobie. Hello, a bit late. Okay, so the harvester um, produces sludge as it works which is now piping through to this sludge boiler which when it fills up boils down and uh, we get some bits and pieces at it. So we got some tainted soil, some clay, some salt, some sand. Not much, just a few bits and pieces. Heat sand, which I've not seen before, I need to look into. And some mycelium, which is useful. It's a really nice colour, isn't it? I love that colour, that's great. The other thing I've been doing is I've been making, um, I've started looking at fluids, which sounds a bit rude, but there you go. What I've been doing is I've been making some witch water. Alright, so that's automatic being pumped into here. So I've now got a barrel full of witch water. Which I'm going to use, perhaps this episode. Because I want to make something that's going to start um, sifting some... Sifting some... What am I looking for? Uh, netherrack for me, or soul sand rather. Which I can make with witch water and sand in uh, a barrel. So we might set that up. Uh, so I hear you played Science Girls without me. Yes, and we did very, very well as well. Don't let that bother you too much, mind. So, right, this is what I wanted to do. I've been having some food problems. Um, oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's grab those while I'm here. And need to deal with that. And one thing I really want to do is start setting up this whole farming situation and getting it properly automated. So I've got here... A harvester which will work on this this 3 by 3 square in front of it and underneath here is a planter which works on this 3 by 3 square here so I've been growing um, some uh, soybeans and those soybeans have been going through the system down to here and there we go we got a nice we've got 31 soybeans so far so that I can make tofu and milk out of and cream and things like that and make loads of foodstuffs out of it, which is great. But let's be honest with you, that that whole thing is not nearly good enough. So, you know, we can't really do a 3x3. Three three. So what I want to do today is I want to get this up to this whole area here, which is 15x15. 15 15. So what I'd like to do is get the whole thing um, sorted out. So everything will be farmed and everything will be harvested through this this system here. Is it genetically modified? <sighs> We're in a world with the luggage floating in midair. Yeah, it's probably genetic mo genetically modified. Oh, by the way, yeah. Ah, oh, that's not growing. That's annoying. Don't know what that needs to grow. I'll have to experiment with that, but... Uh... Am I wearing glasses? I'm wearing glasses. That's why I can see that. There's a sapling there, a new sapling. Now let's make a grafter. Let's distract ourselves for just a second. Make a grafter and get that and see what sapling we got in there. Uh, Gone too far. 
Oh yes, and I've taken down the furnaces and replaced them with some redstone furnaces. Because they don't need coal, you just chick will stick what you want in there and it just cooks itself away, so any bronze, yeah, bronze here. So that and a couple of sticks. Makes us a grafter. And let's go and see what that is. How are the bees doing? Oh yes, that's uh, something I need to show you guys. Go around here. Um I've found myself and made myself a, a new species of um uh, of bee, the leporine um, bee, which seems to be breeding fairly safe now. We, I think it was common and meadows bee that made that. So I actually need to make some space in there before that one dies out. So luggage, uh, don't worry. Okay, I'll just just chuck a couple of bits and pieces in there for luggage. Thank you very much. And we'll take out some of these drones and we'll put those in. The apiarist chest later on. Uh, what was I joking? Oh yes, I wanted to use the grafter on this, didn't I? So let's see what we get here. Oi! A mundane larch. Okay, that's nothing new. We got those already. Let's let's put away some of these these saplings. And those are rubber trees need more and more rubber because we're using more and more um of these machines and all of these seem to lose need lots of plastic to make so we need plenty of those okay what was i doing here what i was doing here was i wanted to get this whole area all mined up oh i do like that wood as well i gotta be honest with you that red one there that's quite nice that's blood wood do we have any blood wood saplings Oh yeah, those are the ones that grow upside down. That's going to be something I'm going to need to work out how to uh, sort out. Yes, that's right. Okay, so let's go down and let's have a look at the harvester first. Okay, so... Look in the middle here. Okay, so the harvester is here. The planter, rather, is here. And we're going to need to want to move that into the middle. And then start planting around it. So we're going to need to change a lot of this stuff here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be the middle. Let's find out. Make a hole. And then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, that's the middle. Okay, so that's where we actually want the uh, the harvester, uh, sorry, the planter. Let's put something else there so we can tell the difference easily. Let's just stick a block of wood there. Um, we'll swap that out before we're done, but at least we know where it is. And in order to do that, we're going to need to move all this stuff out here. So we're going to need to move the uh, the electrical cables, and this piping here is going to need to have a stretch out a bit. So let's start off by moving the planter. Okay, and maybe a block from the nether. That is actually not a bad idea or a strange dirt. Those are both worth investigating, I would say. Let's be planter. So let's put that there. And let's attach that to this wood there. And yeah, I have some Revenant energy cable, but not much left. I just need to make some more of that. And that's going to require a lot of plastic as well. But we got enough for that. Um, well, we got enough for that when I do this. Pick those up. Okay. And drop that there. Okay, so that's now wired up. Touch a lag there because I just placed two items at once. That's not good. Okay, and we need to uh, get this. Um, item transport out a bit as well so like that so we're looking here all right so we wanted to do some soybean in the middle so we'll just put one in the middle there like that uh, okay and then that's put out some soybeans and what will happen is normally this thing harvests and th th everything goes through the system here this chest basically sorts the seeds to go down here 
and the actual Sawyer goes and joins this pipe and, and runs back off to my main storage system. So that's that one there. That's a bit of a problem with this now, of course, is the fact that this isn't going to work. Uh, which we can show you here with a bit of bone meal. Okay, so it's planting in the middle here nicely. That's great. Get that piece of wood up. Put a piece of dirt in its place. There we go. And there we go. Instantly plants it. But the harvester is harvesting over here. Which is a bit of a problem. Okay, which we just, just get these dull done. There you go. It's Oh, I, I harvested that one myself. So if we just get these up to maturity, the harvester is harvesting away. And nothing else is happening. Because they can't talk to each other. But we got rid of those anyway. There we go. We got rid of those. Let's put a few soybean seeds in the system. Everyone's happy. But it's not working anymore. So basically we want this plant we want this harvester to be able to look at this whole field, which we can do by via an upgrade. So let's go and make some upgrades. That was fun. My computer threw me out. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry to hear you having arguments with the computer. I hope it's not a permanent breakup. Uh, what do I want? Um, actually, let's go over here. Need to start. Need to start doing. I could watch that all day, you know. That's so much fun. Oh, and the poison? That's from the sludge brewer. <laughs> That's been getting really, really annoying, and I, I must move the sludge brewer. Okay, so, right, where was I? Um, yeah, I was looking at upgrades. So, upgrade these things. Upgrade lapis, iron, tin, and so on. Okay, what basically what these upgrades do is they expand the ability that these things can do. <laughs> as long as my computer doesn't kill cute things, I don't mind. Okay. All right, so we're doing a 3x3 three three square. So, and it's a 15x15 15 15 farm. Uh, so 15 minus 3 is 12, half of 12 is 6, so basically we want silver upgrades which look like this. So we've got raw plastic in the middle, a gold nugget, some redstone and some silver ingots. Which is fairly easy for us to do as long as we've got the raw plastic. So that's going to be something we're going to have to hunt down. Uh, the rest of it is stuff that we can do quite easily. That's an electrum. Okay, let's get some gold and do we have some redstone? We got some redstone. So let's go and get a bar of gold. Just one will do. And then we can make some nuggets out of that. Like that. Um that go in there if I remember right. Silver. No, it went below. So put the silver in there. And we'll make a couple of these. So we want two redstone there, two redstone there. Let's get the silver ingots. Uh, which uh, all this stuff is here. That's iron, silver. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll put that in here. Now we need to go and get some raw plastic. Well, I've got some rubber. I don't know if I've got any raw plastic because I tend to process it. But it will all be over here if we have. Let's go and have a quick look. All right. Uh. Oh yeah, I've been cooking some baked potatoes up because basically I've been running out of food. So if I get a chance, I'd like to make some loaded baked potatoes as well. But there's no, yeah, there's no raw plastic in there. Do we have any here? Not seeing any. So it looks like we're effectively out of plastic now. So let's go and cook that rubber up and see where that takes us. Use one of these. Stick rubber in there. This is faster than a, a um, an ordinary. What's it anyway? So that's going to give us rubber bars, which will make raw raw plastic out of those rubber bars. And that's me out of food. Is the luggage really on a diet? The luggage doesn't put on weight. To be totally honest with you, anything it eats doesn't go anywhere near its hips. It's perfectly safe. Uh, that's the six we need, so we'll just pop those in here. 
let that chug through. This is so much faster than ordinary furnace, it's really nice. There you go, raw plastic, that's exactly what we want. Uh, while that's cooking, let's go and drop off these bees. Because I need to do some analysis on bees, I think. Oh, that's the tree chest, this is the bee chest. No, we don't want that page, we want the next page. I need to get this organized, to be totally honest with you. Uh, there we go. Uh, need to do some time just actually seriously working with those, which would be fun, but uh, at the moment, not quite in the mood to do it, but it's going to happen soon, I think. Uh, I wish I had the luggage's metabolism. I think we all do, says the other fat bloke, in it, um, fat middle-aged bloke. It uh, would make life so much easier. Mm. Yeah, on this. So, silver upgrades. Let's go and pop one of those into our planter. Actually, let's go and pop one of those into our harvester. Because I want to see what happens. So, we will pop one in there. And look, everything goes. All this stuff here, which is all matured, is just instantly gone, and that's great. Uh, oh, I had some bone meal. Did I give it to the luggage? No. Oh, well, must have used it all. Okay, well, anyway, you can see, as this is all matured up, that's done the whole lot, which is excellent, and... Don't know what happened to the wheat. Let's go and see if we can find out. Luggage, teach me your secrets. Well, first of all, you've just not got, got to not care about what anyone else thinks. There we go. There's our seeds and there's our wheat. And in fact, I'll tell you what. Take one of each of those and let's actually get... Oh, I've already got one of those. Let's actually get those into the system. So... Uh, that one there, we shall whitelist seeds and tell them to send them on here. And this one here, we shall whitelist wheat and tell it to send it down here. So now when we look in here, it's all gone. And it all gets fed into the system. Ha ha. And... Oh, well, it's actually it's going to take a little while for the seeds to get down there, so that's all right. But uh, there we go, there come the seeds. Right, so we'll do an upgrade on this one here. I have no idea what will happen at this point, so this is going to be interesting for both of us. So there's the upgrade. Planted a load more soybean, and we're planting a load more seeds, which I wasn't expecting. Are they just planting this stuff out regardless? Uh, let's have a look. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, look, okay. Um... Just planting the stuff out as it likes, to be honest with you. And I think I know. I think I can work out the reason why. We need to tell it what to plant and where. Uh, okay, let's go and let's see what we've got in terms of seeds, and see if we can do something fun with this. Uh, seaweed is no good to us. Sunflower seeds might be amusing. Celery, something we we actually need a lot of. Strawberry, sweet potato, raspberry. Grab that bone meal while we're at it. Um, any tomato seeds here? I don't think we have, but I know where there are some. So let's go and grab some tomato seeds and see if we can get that one actually working properly for us. Um, don't think it's going to until we've got everything done, but at least we can experiment. Uh, loads of wheat there, but not much in the way of seeds. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what, let's just just make seeds out of that. Oh, there we go. That's a stack of seeds as well. That'll, that'll do us for, for seeds. And strawberry, sweet potato. There's some tomato stuff here. Uh, turn. Potato, coffee. Uh, let's get some potatoes growing. Let's get some potatoes growing. Great potatoes would be good for us. All right, so... I am thinking that this grid here is going to correspond to how it plants. So if we tell it to put potatoes in that corner, and 
Get a load of seeds planted. Yeah, that's going to plant those out. While it's doing that, make some small seeds. Like that. And let's also tell it to plant seeds there and seeds there. Oh, there we go. Look, it's planting those nicely. So we'll put those in. And where's those potatoes? There we go. Stick the potatoes in. They've gone immediately. So let's see how that actually ties in. Uh, we need to go up. Hello, Fat Frog. Welcome back. We are making ourselves an automated farm here, at least hopefully. Yeah, look at that. It's all nicely planted out here. Okay, it's not planted anything in here because we told it we want soya. And yeah, it's planted all the potatoes it could in this corner here. Don't know why it's planted them there, but uh, I'm not going to argue too much. So this is actually working with what we've laid out in the uh, the grid and everything else. Is well, I'll just plant whatever I want. So if we actually get rid of some of this stuff, uh, let's get rid of this soybean actually. pick this up we don't want crop soybean growing there we want wheat that's all crops that's all crops that's all crops excellent pretty much what we are so let's give it the soybeans and the seeds actually so let's give them those as well they'll work their way through the system and we should see some more stuff growing here now yeah well it takes about a minute to get there but there you go all the crops are planted there now as we wanted and this soy is planting through, and I want to grab a potato. Grab that potato because I need to get those into the replanting system, which means we need to go back down. And potatoes aren't going to work hugely well on this, I think, because they don't produce seeds so much as just the tubers, and the tubers are actually what we want. So. Probably going to need a bit of thought on this if we want to grow potatoes, but this will do for now. So we'll wipe this potatoes going through there. And stick one of those in there, and that'll do the rest for us. And Right, so we now know it, it knows it. we want potatoes in that corner, we want soy in the middle, and we want seeds above, and the rest of it we haven't told what it wants. So what I need to do now is actually work out nine things I want to grow, and grow them. So that's uh, that's worked out quite well, I would say. I'm quite happy with that. So that's a good start. I feel like the right luggage should write a self-help book. Um, uh, that's not really the luggage's way. The luggage is more likely to just stare at you until you mend new ways. To be honest with you. There we go. There's a nice square of soybeans. The potatoes are growing. Okay, the crops are growing. The problem is it's all growing a bit too slow. I would say but let's actually get some of this out let's pick something that we want to grow I want to grow a one tree and see how well that works to start off with um, what should we have should we have apples peppercorns plums peaches papaya orange slime pomegranate walnuts star fruit this is all very very posh, isn't it? Um, what should we have? Anyone got a favourite? Shout out if you've got a favourite. We've got mangoes. We've got star fruits. we got vanilla. Plum, peach, papaya, orange, lime, walnut. Um, pomegranate, cinnamon, which I love. Coconut, peppercorn, olive dragon fruit all right so we have pink mangoes and anything blue uh, mangoes don't really qualify as pink i would say so we've basically we've got three different choices here now anyone want to jump in on one that's cinnamon a fourth choice come on somebody agree with someone else you can do it you can do it Uh, 
Okay, I've only got one cinnamon, so I don't want to. I don't want to kill that one off. Uh, let's go with the mangoes. Uh, no, I've only got one mango. So anything blue or anything pink. Anything blue or anything pink. Um, well, let's, let's see if we can find one of each. There's a pink one. So let's have two plums. Two are. And is there a blue one here? Uh, that's kind of green rather than blue, really, isn't it? Oh, I'm, I'm, I, I, to be totally honest with you, I think you're an absolute sweetie dear un, underneath there, dear, and you just don't like to hide it. Tell you what, let's do apples. Let's do apples because, yeah, why not? All right, so we will stick those into 